for the longest time, it was a close vote. Some of y'all wanted me to stay at App State to build that program up. Some of y'all wanted me to hit that transfer portal. And I had time to think about it. I'm too talented now that the college football know who I am. Yo, I had time to think about it. And it goes to show you that they wasn't honoring me. They went out and they signed the number four wide receiver. Being that I'm more than just a running back. Not only that, they ended up signing the number eight running back in the nation. So that right then let me know right then and there that I was no longer part of their vision moving forward. So one school that stood out to me the most is USC. Now Lincoln Riley got this, got this team looking right. So that's why ultimately chose USC. Now here we are, USC. Now Lincoln Riley promised his kid he's gonna be the number two, you know, depth chart running back coming in. And of course he's gonna do kick out return, punt returns, but you know the upperclassmen leaving. Next year, this is gonna get his kid the full ride, bro. Running back one. Now this is our schedule. We're coming in number 14 in the nation. You got Notre Dame, you got Utah, you know, Oregon State. You know ucla so we got some teams out there that's you will know that's gonna give us a run for our money but first game of the new school back home out west and this is what this kid can do he just you know coming out of high school to two star recruit and already we on the field out here helping our teammates like i say two star recruit coming in nobody really didn't know but what well, he put on the show as a true freshman, 18 in total touchdowns without being an impact on offense. That's scary. That is absolutely scary. As Caleb Williams goes down for a sack, we had to end up doing the exact same play because we saw something that we like. And your boy set up first and go. They ended up punching it in. And it's a 14 14 ball game. But like I said, it's. When you have, boy, that's just goodbye. This is just a good part. The little boy is saying it clear as day. But when you have that much talent that has yet to touch the, you know, the field as far as offense, bro, that's scary. 18 touchdowns without touching the field on offense. As you can see, we got our first penalty of the season, first and 10. Keller wins, go, go, throws it quickly to Travis Dye that picks up four. And we up by we up to uh, one score, but being on Heisman, not playing on defense, this game is not over, bro. It's a penalty, and I know it is clipping or holding. And yes, indeed, it is. You put Gordon, bro. You cannot be clipping. It's, bro. If it's a just a straight line run, this kid ready to get caught, and that's what you like to see, man. Kayla wins out here throwing dots. That's why he Jordan Addison. That's why we came here, bro. He don't have to carry the load all by himself. Oh, he breaks one tackle. He two is two defense. Yo, is this the next Reggie Bush, bro? And we had the opportunity to, to put on that number five, but you know, he ultimately he went up with you know changing number eight. I believe that's Dwayne Jarrett numbers. I believe we had the opportunity to put on that number five, but he is not worthy just yet. And my, I think so. He he just not just yet. That reception, Travis, that go for negative three up, thirty five to fourteen. That's yo, <laughs> just go by, bro. He did his eighteen total time touchdowns last year without touching the field on offense. That is scary. Like I said, man, repeat it again. This is scary, but. I don't know what happened to Travis Dye, but we get an opportunity. Let's take a look what this kid can do. First rest of the tempo of the season. Goes for 14. Not only can he run it, he can catch the pass as well and trying to take your boy out of the game already. We up 42 to 21. Bro, like I say, not only can we rush it, bro, we can catch the ball out of the backfield once again. This dude is just fucking electric. Electric. <laughs> <laughs> like like I said, I know some people wanted him to stay at Appalachian State, you know, help build their program up. But when you go out and sign, you know, a five, four star, five star, number four receiver in the nation, number eight running back in the nation, that goes to show, you know, somebody that's good as he is, where it's just like, and we score our first touchdown. Let's go. 
that lets that lets Jaheim know that he's no longer part of the vision, the future vision of Appalachian State. So that that ultimately that made his decision a lot easier. You feel me? So it was it definitely was a no brainer. But he weighed all his pros and cons. He looked at the you know running back depth chart, not only at USC uh, but UCLA, Arizona, and. This is a perfect opportunity, you know, to make a name for yourself. We out here trying to throw a block, and we end up getting Caleb Williams way. So that's gonna bring up a third and seven handoff to that boy Jaheem, and we pick up the first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten, read option. Caleb Williams start to keep it, and he picks up eight on the play. Second and two under a minute remaining left in this ball game. Yeah, that's good for eight, man. We pick up a first down, but that's all we got for this game, bro. Y'all let me know y'all first impressions. Let me know, you know, first impression what y'all think. Not only what y'all think, but did he make the right decision? Well, we get our first play of the game. Is he the next Reggie Bush, bro? Did he make the right decision? Y'all let me know these questions, bro. Here we are. Eight rushing attempts for 64 yards and one score. Like I said, I don't know what happened to Travis Dye. He must have got injured. Caleb Williams, 37 yards on the ground, one score. But he took a full advantage of his opportunity. We tied Jordan Addison with reception. So we had 63 yards on the 63 receiving yards. Addison had 84 to touchdown. Rice, three receptions, 44 yards on the touchdown. Mario Williams, one reception, two yards on the score. And kick returns, 188 in one score. That's <laughs> just kick returns, bro. Punt returns, 145 and one down. Yeah, that's all we got. It's your boy, sir. He logging in out to the next video, man. And we gone. The tree. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret, everything that you done with me. Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.